about to enter a new dimension of not only factual stories, but of entertainment. This is The Spotlight Zone. Welcome back, Simley. I'm Nathan Wegleitner. And I'm Bree Chaka. The yearbook staff thanks everyone for participating in Winter Week. So I heard the girls' gymnastics team is doing really well, and they've gained a lot of new people. Michaela wanted to go find out more about them. This past season, the gymnastics team is doing significantly better than the last. Caught up with the captains to talk about this year's improvement. Wait! Last week's meet, we got a new high score of 124 over Tartan, all time high score of 127 this weekend. This season, we've really had a positive attitude. We've been working really hard. We set high standards for ourselves. The team is 5 0, placing them second in their conference. So we're really excited about the gymnastics season this year. They upped their skills from last year on vault, bars, beam, and floor. Over half the girls could do back handsprings on the beam. And there's a lot more sticky beams. We've got a group of middle school kids who are phenomenal, who are pushing everybody to a higher pinnacle. We're in seventh grade and this is our first year competing for Simo Gymnastics. My favorite event is bars. And I love the floor. We're on fire. Come out and check us out. Make sure to check out the Girls Gymnastics Conference Meet at Montemita. This has been Michaela Long reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks Michaela. That was a great flipping story. So how much sleep do I really need? That the current research is still stating that you should have eight hours sleep. However, I know that teenagers in particular are have creatures of habit. It's kind of from individual basis on how much you really need to feel so self-sustained for the following day. So I'm going to go with the answer that you need to get as much sleep as you feel like you need to get. So what happens if I don't get enough sleep? Is poor quality of work here at the high school. Um, lack of attention span, maybe not having enough energy to get through the things that you want to get through, not just school, but like if you have work or if you have extracurricular. And what should I do to get enough sleep? Is to wear yourself out, to truly do enough in your day that you are exhausted so that when you do have to go to sleep, you're just like asleep the minute your head hits the pill. But what if I don't do enough in my day? I struggle with that. And I've heard that a warm bath kind of helps to settle you down, to read a book, to do something that's kind of settling, and then you can get your needed sleep. I'm Chloe Shaw reporting from the Spartan Spotlight. <sighs> Seriously, Nathan, wake up! Oh, thanks, Chloe. <laughs> That's it for this week's guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Nathan Wegleitner. And I'm Bree Chica. Make sure to head over to Twitter to vote for your favorite new school bell. See you next week, guys. <laughs>